All right, guys, so something that's coming to my attention I want to tell you about Windows 10, and there will be no more updates. So if you want to hear about that, just stick around just for a second. All right, so the article is on bleepingcomputer.com, and the article was published in April 27th, 2023. So not too long ago, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, so the article description, uh, or headline, is Windows 10 22H2 is the final version of Windows 10. Now, 22H2 is just a, it's just a, like they said, it's the version of it. So they went from updating it twice a year down to once a year, and now um, they're no longer going to release any updates, uh, any major updates. So, uh, but uh, don't fear, they are gonna still release uh, security updates once a month. That's still gonna be going on until the end of Windows 10, which is October of 2025. Once you hit that point, you are on your own. There's no more security updates unless you paid for something like a corporation does um, for further extending the, uh, the security updates for Windows 10. Uh, but for us home users, that's it. That's the end of it. So you better switch over to whatever is available, uh, which right now is Windows 11. Now, however, it's kind of interesting. So uh, Windows 11 has been out for some time now, but it's, uh, there's a little thing right here. It says more than 73% of all Windows computers are still running Windows 10. So it's kind of interesting. It's, uh, that's according to the Valley's March 2023 survey. Um, <laughs> it just kind of reveals how good Windows 10 is and how people are not adopting Windows 11 that fast. I mean, Windows 11, you're not really getting anything. You're, you're getting a facelift. That's all you're really getting. I mean, there's mostly everything is the same. There's a couple interesting things. I do have a video on Windows 11, uh, a feature within Windows 11 that's kind of interesting that Windows 10 does not support. Um, it could help out um, uh, people doing um, videos and stuff like that. But anyway, I'll get to that video at some point. So, um, but yeah, that, that's, I think that's kind of interesting. So uh, again, you still have a couple of years left on Windows 10. And so don't feel like you need to switch over now. If you have Windows 10, just keep running Windows 10 and just keep ignoring the little thing in the update section. Uh, it says, oh, your computer supports Windows 11. Do you want to switch? No, you don't have to. It, it, there's no point unless there's something in Windows 11 that you absolutely need, and there's there'd be very few people that would actually benefit from that. So keep running your Windows 10. Um, it's it's going to be just fine for you. So I just kind of wanted to point that out and uh, kind of inform you guys just a little something if you, you know, in the future here, if you don't see any more updates when they're supposed to be coming out and... Uh, you're kind of wondering why well this is why and you know it's a simple simple video quick video i'm doing here but i just want to kind of inform you guys so anyway i'm babbling on so uh feel free to leave a comment down below i'm just kind of curious maybe uh which operating system you like and why specifically why um you know something that windows 10 uh, or windows 11 does that windows 10 doesn't um, or why you switched or why you're staying. I just, you know, it'd be kind of nice to hear from y'all. And, um, but that's it. Uh, hit that like button down below. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel and, uh, yeah, hit that, hit that little bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I post. And until next time, guys, take care.